Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to the channel today. It's good to have you. Uh, welcome back to all of our subscribers. And if you are finding us for the first time, if this is your initial visit to the channel, welcome as well. Uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Uh, please hit the like button. And then also please consider becoming a member to receive additional information, uh, whether it be documents, forms, training videos on how to grow and develop your business. You can just click that join button below. And then to learn more about me and my company and how we can help take you to that next level, uh, check out those links below as well. So with all that said, let's get into our topic today. And this is six ways to create more successful entry-level hiring in your gym. Six ways to create more successful entry-level hiring in your gym. And I know right now, you know, so many places you know, it's challenging, you know, to find, you know, uh, personnel. It's challenging to find people. It's challenging to find the right people. And what I want to do, let's put the accountability on us. Let's don't make it, oh, there's no one good out there. Well, there's plenty of good out there, I think. Let's put the accountability on us to be able to find it. And a couple things I would mention here when it comes to recruiting, make sure we're doing it all the time, not just when you think you need somebody, because you never know what the next day is going to hold. So always be recruiting just like you do with membership, but also start thinking about differentiation, just like we talk about in your business, you know, differentiation. How are you doing this differently than everybody else? If you're doing the exact same thing, you're probably going to have the exact same problem. And then also look at uncontested market space. Okay. Are we going after the same people everybody else is going after? Okay. Probably got to pay them more. Okay. How about an uncontested marketplace? Is there some place else we can be looking? So think about that when you're doing this. So six ways to create more successful entry-level hiring in your gym. So number one, what I want to suggest for you is recruit candidates to your company, not a position. When you're recruiting, whatever position it is, recruit them to your company, you know, the company culture and all the things you have to offer, not simply a position okay it's not hey you know start here entry level okay recruit to your company there's an awful lot of good you can talk about your company come to work you know for my company and here's why okay it's not about the position it's about the company number two come up with job descriptions based on transferable skills Come up with job description based on transferable skills. Um, I know for me, um, you know, when, when we're looking and hiring, I mean, I, I love to talk to flight attendants because they have great transferable skills. Put those in your job description. I love talking to waiters and waitresses because they have great transferable skills. You know for what I'm looking for. And there are certain companies out there that I really like talking to folks that they have. You know, outside the fitness industry because they have great, such great transferable skills. So when you're looking at this job description, don't just talk, hey, able to meet and greet the public. You know, that's a great transferable skill. Hey, if you're a former flight attendant, great transferable skills here. Think about that, okay? Be a great way to differentiate yourself and really a great way now to start talking to what I think is an uncontested market. Uh, number three, okay? You want to develop interview questions that identify these transferable skills. You want to develop um, interview questions that will uh, identify these transfer transferable skills. And so here's an example. Here's, here, I think, an easy way to do this. You can write out the questions, but one of the things that I think works really well is role play. And role play their current job. Let's just say they're a flight attendant. Okay, great. You be a passenger. Role play the interaction. Okay, you'll be able to see real quick those transferable skills. You know, if they are a waiter or a waitress. Okay, you're a patron. Okay, you know, role play that. If they're in sales doing something else, role play it. But role play what they're currently doing. Not only will it allow you to help you identify transferable skills, depending on how long they've been with that particular company or organization, in a manner of speaking, you'll kind of be able to see what you'll have in six months or what you'll have in 90 days, you know, after you've completed training with them. So develop interview questions or role play, things that will help you identify these important transferable skills.
Okay. Uh, number four, evaluate your interview results. Evaluate your interview results. And you know, one of the things that I always like to do, I go back, you know, and compare everything, kind of that sales process, because it really does trickle down into everything else that we do. And you know, one of the things that we do a lot with the sales uh, sales program is uh, what we call the tour log sheet. And the purpose of the tour log sheet is to continually improve our closing skills and being able to understand the, the customer. And we'll ask ourselves, hey, what could have we done? What could we have done differently? Okay, what other questions could I have asked that could have extracted from this person what we might need to find out? And so evaluate the results. Sit down and look at them. What worked well? What didn't? What I like? What didn't I like? What did I find out? What didn't I find out? What went well? What didn't? What I learned about that person? Where do I think they'd fit? Really look at it. But the big thing here, same thing, going back to sales, don't hold the other person accountable. Oh, they were just not going to be a fit. You know, let me see if I can't find a fit in there because you never know. Okay. Or they might even refer somebody to you. Okay. Uh, number five, match the candidate to the right position. You know, I talked earlier about, you know, recruit candidates to the company, you know, not the position. Make sure we match the candidate to the right position. Let's don't take, you know, a shy introvert that is looking for back office work and put them into sales just because we think they can do it, okay? Doesn't mean they can't do it eventually, but maybe that's not a good match, you know, uh, out of the gate, okay? So make sure we match the candidate, you know, to the right person. And, you know, one of the little sidebars of that for you and matching the candidate to that right person is one of the things I would suggest is, depending on how you're doing your interviewing, have other staff members, you know, participate in this interview process. Okay, a little bit of a form of delegating, but have other staff members uh, participate in it. They might have a different insight than what you might. You know, sometimes we get tunnel vision. We're so focused, I need to fill this spot, where someone else might look at it and go, "Wow, they are fantastic. They really do well here." Okay, so uh, you know, match the candidate to the right position. Uh, number six on my list is focus on the first six months. Once you get this person hired. I want you to think about this in the same way you do a new member. When you, when you get that new member in, I mean, what are we committed to here? You know, that first, that first two months, we want them using the gym, you know, 20 times. You know, we want this to be a destination location. We're going to nurture our new members. Because the more we nurture them, the more they participate, the more they're involved, the longer they're going to stay with us. You know, your staff is identical to this. So focus on the first six months. You know, don't just, hey, you're in, good luck to you, okay? You know, really train them up, train them right, nurture them, help build confidence, help build self-esteem, help understand why this job is important to them, help understand what their, their long-term goals might be, you know, help, help uh, understand, you know, what their background be, might be like, what other transferable skills you know, might they have. But don't just focus on today, tomorrow, 30 days, a 90 day probationary period. Focus on those first six months. We wanna create something special here, okay? And you can do it, okay? I know when I was hired in sales, uh, not that I was necessarily nurtured, I don't know that I was, but I was poor at it. I chose to learn it, okay, committed myself to it. Within six months, I was managing that gym. I went from literally the worst salesperson out of four clubs to being a successful manager of that facility. So these things happen if we do it right. So six ways to create more successful entry level hiring. Okay. Now for you folks that are members of the channel, for you folks that are our gym success members, and you can check this in that join button below, you can click that button and, and see what's there. That doesn't commit you by, by clicking that button. Uh, so uh, click that join button and for our gym success members, I'm going to be sending out an interview checklist, you know, a nice checklist you can go through of things that we want to do during the interview process. Then I'm also going to be putting out a, a series of, uh, 
of, of interview questions for each department, okay, whether it's training, whether it's front desk, whether it's operations, whether it's sales, you know, a series of questions and things that can help give you a guideline for when you're interviewing with folks. So if you're looking for that, that information, you know, check out our uh, gym success button and the join button below, you know, for more information on that. But then also, you know, six ways here, you know, to create more successful entry level hiring. Again, you know, your employees are your brand. Let's don't do the same thing everybody else is doing. Let's create some differentiation. Let's go into an uncontested marketplace and let's have success. So folks, I appreciate you being here. Uh, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. Again, you can learn more about me uh, and, my, and my company with the links below. And then if you've not yet done so, please consider hitting the subscribe button, hitting that like button, consider becoming a member, and we'll see you all in that next video.